Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. So today we're going to be sorting out this field. We have loads and loads of bells in here. 19 to be precise. Uh, but we're going to be making one huge long line of silage bells that are all going to be wrapped together. So I've decided the best place for this is actually down there on the piece of grass which cannot be fertilised. We do own it, but without ploughing it up we can't really make it any more productive. So I'm just going to grab the extractor which is over here. You can drive the extractor but I think to take it to the field it's going to be a wise idea to tow it because it can probably only go about three miles per hour. Yes, I, I doubt it can go faster than three. So this is not the hybrid. Uh, the hybrid can do square bells as well, uh, which probably would be handy to have because I have a square baler. We did have to rent the round baler um, but no, I, I don't really mind renting the round baler. It's not that expensive. So, yes, I have not done this since FS19, and um, I need to figure out the best way of arranging it. Um, because it will obviously move as we fill it up. So, I think the bales will come off on this, on the tractor side. And I think it, it must move backwards. So putting it here, I believe, is the wisest idea. I will keep the tractor close, just to begin with. I won't block the road. And we need to get the JCB. Yeah, just start the engine. Has a little uh, single cylinder petrol engine somewhere. There it is. Yep, so if we just move a little bit further this way, like the, the closer this, closer to the side of the road we are, the better I would say. Should be good. Okay, unfold it. And I believe we're now ready to start putting bales in. So there's the JCB. Uh, it still has the seed bag on it. I'm going to drop that off. Put my bale spike on. I don't think this is going to take very long. I just hope we can fit all of them in one line. I would prefer to keep one line instead of two. It's not a huge issue. I just think it's nice that we now own this whole parcel of land. We own all the fields in this sort of area. The area surrounded by the road. It's a good parcel to have. Okay, so there's my bell spike. Get that fitted. We probably will have to do another feed mix very soon for the cows. Uh, they're doing pretty well. They're certainly generating quite a bit of money for us. We are selling the milk over at the dairy if you haven't been watching. And I've been making butter and cheese. It's pretty good. Okay, so just one bale to begin with. Just need to figure it out. So, which way round do we put this? I would say, like this, with the flat side facing us. Once it takes it, I'll know. Yeah, okay, so yeah, in the future, I will be able to do that without messing up, obviously. <laughs> I just pushed it. So that is wrapping. It looks like I opted to go for the blue colour, or the sort of pale blue, sky blue colour. Looking very nice indeed. I might be able to carry two bells at a time, uh, but it might also be quite difficult to put them into the uh, the wrapper. And the sooner we come off this fairly uneven part of the field, the better. Hopefully it does have the power to push itself up here instead of just feeding itself onto the road. That would be good. And yep, there you go, much more stable. I didn't move it. Looking good. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be an issue with space. I, I believe these will fit fairly comfortably in that area. Uh, but if it is going to start to creep onto the road, now is the time to move it. Because when they're all joined together, it's going to be super heavy. Okay, how's that looking? Should start moving backwards. Yeah, it is doing. There it goes. 
Perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping for. I probably should have been a little bit further that way, actually. Um, it might not be too late to push it. If I just boom out. There we go. Just try and keep it on the more level ground. And now I can continue filling it up with bales, keep loading it up with bales, and uh, yeah, soon it's going to look fairly impressive. I think I might take two, but put one in at a time. That's the best bet. We're almost there, and yes, it has barely taken up any space at all. I do regret putting it right to the edge, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter at all. I might try and roll it a little bit further to the road, close to the road, but I think the more I mess with it, the worse it's going to be. You can see that far end has already sort of rolled away. It should have been on perfectly level ground. So we have over here two more, just two left, and then we are done. As with everything, practice makes perfect. As I was doing that, I found better ways of doing it. Which goes to show, without experience, anything can be tricky. But it's not necessarily a difficult job and you can pick it up very easily. Fifteen thousand litres, just for these two bales, that's brilliant. So it is Harpers 3. Oh, there's a bale there. Um, yes, I'm not too sure if the cows do need a feed mix. If they don't, we're going to go to bed. I know it's early to go to bed, but yeah, we need to progress into June. Um, if they do need a feed mix, then obviously I'll do it. Oh, same with the greenhouses too, actually. I think they probably need a bit of water. But if they're not desperate, I won't do it, because it's, it's just easier to allow them to consume a bit more and then fill it up in the next month. So is that it? Don't want to miss any. This X tractor has been waiting for months to do this. <laughs> and then it gets about half an hour's use, if that's in game time. Uh, so fermenting 4%, 3%, mass 1.3 tonnes, that must be per bale, I'm guessing. That would be a super heavy bale, but yeah. Um, I suppose, yeah, because it is fairly wet. They are big bales. Yeah, so if I just move this JCB out of the way, we can say that's the end. I'll just make sure it is the end. I think so. If we do spot another bale somewhere, it doesn't matter. I can feed it to the sheep. So press R. And it wraps the end. I wonder if I can make this look a bit neater with super strength. If I can do, I will do. So one second. That's not bad. I think that's good. Uh, I think it actually did break here. Yeah, you can actually see the uh, the wrap in there. So we do have two separate lines, but that makes no difference whatsoever to the product. These are good products. High quality silage. 
and it's going to be used very soon. So I'm just going to attach the Massey Ferguson back to this, we'll take it back over to the yard, and yep, I did gather some experience there. I will know next time not to put it on the corner, we'll put it on a very, very flat part. Should be able to fold up a bit. There we go. Turn the engine off. And this field is now ready to have manure spread onto it. So, I, like I said in the previous episode, I would prefer to wait and go for that really big one. But we won't necessarily have to wait for that long because we do have other products to sell. We've sold the eggs, but we do have furniture. We should have quite a bit of cheese and butter and maybe some other products as well. So, uh, yes, I think that's what I'm going to do. Rummage around, see what I can find, and then, <laughs> with the money, get a muck spreader and spread that field with our own manure, which I think is just brilliant. But that will likely be in the next day, so we'll make sure we've got some more products produced. If we can do that in June. The thing is, the grass will start to grow, but I, I would hope it doesn't fully grow in a month, although, yeah, grass at this time of year is going to grow fairly uh, vigorously so a bit of a tough decision really to make first of all the cows how are they doing they do need food so that's what I'm going to do first of all if we just go into the JCB that will likely be used in the winter time that silage now, I've done quite a few feed mixes now and also that is another thing we need to upgrade the mixer, it's not very big. So I think I will just very, very quickly do two mixes. Do we have anything left in here? No, we don't. Okay. So I'll start this up. Park it around the corner. I think we've run out of additive. Yes, we have. Um, so we'll do this mixture without it. But I think we'll buy some more in the future. So because there won't be any additive, we're going to put a little bit more straw in. That should be enough, I would hope. And then the rest is going to be hay and silage. I think we still have about 20,000 litres of silage left in here, so that is going to be good. There we go, that is another full load, so that'll be enough. It probably won't fill it to 100%, but it's going to be enough. Uh, just to uh, keep them going nicely. I've been feeding them every day anyway, so they do take quite a bit of attention. But that really is the reason why I prefer to have a bigger mixer, because then we can probably put even amounts of bales in, and except for the straw, and we can uh, just do more in one go. So probably one mix will do it. In fact, it, it should definitely do it. So an upgrade will be coming fairly soon, but with a bit of luck that's been at least three quarters of the requirement. Let's take a look. Yep, that's good. So we'll leave this here. We'll take a look at those greenhouses. How are they doing? Greenhouses. Uh, water is, yeah, water's actually pretty good, so they can wait for another day. That has finished, that needs deactivating. Uh, has that finished? Yes, that's finished as well. So we need to deliver some more milk. 
so the butter and cheese production can continue. Uh, sawmill, that needs to be activated. That's looking good. Okay, right, so uh, yes, we can move on. Just lower this. <laughs> that looks kind of weird. Uh, it's like wings. The JCB has wings. I think I'm just going to teleport over there. But as for tabbing on the Calms and Farm series, I haven't seen the vote yet, but I would imagine uh, a vote for not tabbing will win. Right, so hopefully we do now have uh, more furniture to sell and all of the butter and the cheese that we have can be picked up. Oh no, please. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter if it's raining. Yeah, it's not a problem. Jump into this. Yes, yeah, so we're essentially trying to fund the muck spreader. We're trying to get quite a few things, but I think the muck spreader is the thing I want to get most of all at the moment. What kind of surprise are we in for today? Oh, we actually do have some uh, collectibles to get as well. Mustn't forget to get those. We have got, well, at least this. At the very least. The cheese is getting rained on. Wet cheese, yuck at the front. I don't know if anything else is going to spawn. Probably some more butter. Uh, let's see. Nope. Not enough to spawn. So now we're off to the sawmill. Hopefully, fingers crossed, there's going to be quite a bit of furniture. Yes, I can tell I wouldn't want to go any faster than this. You can just fit, start to lose control. Probably the weight of the butter on the back. Should be further forward. Uh, anyway, yes, what do we have? At least four. When I move this, uh, some more might appear. What do we have? Uh, yeah, that seems to be it. We do have 300 and uh, something litres, but that's not going to be enough. But still... Four pallets, that is good. Because these pallets do not come cheap. So we're going to go to the farm shop as usual. It's about right actually, we wouldn't really want to have any more waiting. Four thousand liters of furniture, two thousand of cheese, and two thousand of butter. Uh, the butter will give us the least money. The furniture, probably the most, or the cheese. Any trains? Not today. Oh, stuck on the line. Very soon as well, we're going to have to start to fertilise the vineyard and the olive grove. I am told that there is a muck spreader, a very small muck spreader, which is compatible with the, the vineyard. Uh, so we can actually apply our own fertiliser, which is a nice idea. Thing is though, as we're going to be buying the biggest muck spreader, we'll probably have to save up a bit before we can get the small one as well. So I think this time around we're going to spray it, but yeah, in the future... That is definitely an option. I've just realised the trailer's wheel is actually sinking in. It must be very heavy. That does not look healthy. We must have punches. Anyway, here we go. See how much we can make. Looks like we do have enough for the Max Predator. Just. It's really close. Okay, so yeah, manure spreaders. I was going to go with the... Oh no. It is not enough. Okay. Um, 
yeah they do not come cheap either we're gonna have to try and get that in a sale which means today we're probably gonna have to rent we won't necessarily get one quite so big we will be selling eggs again soon so I'm gonna park this over here yeah really what we need to do is find another collectible I think we only have about two or three left but the problem is I don't know where they are so if anybody knows of the ones which I'm missing if you've been keeping track if you have that's just amazing brilliant um, but yes if you do know where they are that would be very much appreciated we only need one. Oh yeah the uh, the greenhouses can they wait yes they can so the priority today is going to be to muck spread uh, we need to, because um, I don't think it did grow too much, did it? It was pretty good. We need to get one hired. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. Very good. Although it still looks fully fertilised. Don't want to be applying it for nothing. No, just the one application. So that means that we can do this. Now, because we're so close to the pit, uh, we can go for a smaller capacity one. We can go for width over capacity. Uh, so this one has 10 meter working width, 12 meter working width. That's pretty good, 24 meter, that's the one I want. This one is cheaper for the same working width. Smaller capacity. So we're gonna rent that one today. How much is that going to be? £4,335. We'll go for it. Yes, I can't take that JCB seriously at the moment. I need to take those bales off. Anyway, the Massey Ferguson tractor. Yeah, I could have gone for a smaller muck spreader, but I really want to see how wide this really is, because this is the width we're going to be purchasing. It's good to try it out first of all. It's interesting how it has the smaller rear wheels. If anybody knows the reason behind that, I would love to know. Is it just like a support wheel? Something to do with compaction? Interesting. Yeah, I really don't know the reason for that. Obviously if you had just a, a standard twin axle with the same size wheels, it would just be obvious, but the fact that they're smaller is interesting, very questionable. Why would it be smaller? I'm sure there's a very simple explanation for it. Probably very obvious. Anyway, yeah, we're going to use the JCB. So I'm going to park this, hopefully, just to the side. Is there enough space? Yeah, if we park this just sort of in here, I can reverse around the corner. Should be okay. Take the wings off the JCB before it takes off. It does look very snazzy. Both of those bells can be used in the future for our feed mix. Take the spike off. And finally the bucket. So yeah, really we should have a separate manure grab. Just have to wash this out. Plenty of space. But this will likely take a bit of time to fill. I think it takes about 24,000 litres. Or is it 21? We'll soon find out.
Here we go. Unfolding. I think I'll probably just go straight over the centre to begin with. As I don't know exactly where to be positioned. Okay, so that is 24 metres, which... Is it adjustable? No, I don't think it's adjustable. It's not like the... Uh, the uh, granular fertiliser spreader. And it looks like this is going to go quite a long way. I like the steam and stuff. We've got all the steam coming out of here. I think this is the first time I've actually used the muck spreader in FS22. It's taken me a few months, but yep, that looks good. That looks very good. I like it. The working width is just perfect. Uh, we don't need to go any bigger. Obviously, that's messed it up a bit, but we have loads. That is just so good. Ooh, mesmerizing. Mesmerizing poop. So probably have to do two loads. Can't wait to actually own one of these muck spreaders, or the, the other one. Which has got a slightly higher capacity, which is what we're looking for. Because we do have the other field which is uh, much further away. Yeah, it does. It goes quite a long way. Thank you, cows. And that means the grass is fully fertilised again. So good. We'll be having another cut, cut off it very soon. Uh, it's probably going to be... Actually, it'll probably be silage again, because we already have loads of hay bales. We own the extractor, so we can just make another long line. Have two down there. Right, so I will go and fill it up a bit, but we don't need to fill it up to the top. That's for sure. It is just that piece. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone up the middle, actually. At least it's really cheap. Well, it's free. Just a byproduct of owning the cows and producing milk. Bucket lane number four. I, I think this will probably be enough. It's probably more than enough. Yep. Should be plenty. So, park that here. And we'll spread it on the land. And I finish off the other side as well. So just four bucket loads is 44%. Get a bit of first person view. Already got the birds on here. Picking over the manure. <laughs> Seeing if they can get any good bits out of it. We do have some rocks, but they're fine. Doesn't matter about them. Okay. That should leave us with just the right amount to do over here. I like that long line of bales though, it looks good. Okay, 9%. Is it going to leave us with just the tiniest amount? Hopefully not. Oh, look at that. It's like it was made to measure. Absolutely perfect. So that concludes this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. 
And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.